Hello there and welcome back to some Crusader Kings 3 as Viking India. Where we left off we did declare war here. Now as I was uh, going through the game before getting ready to start, I noticed something. I have a concubine. My concubine is also my daughter. I'm not sure how this occurred but we are going to uh, dismiss this concubine. She won't like it. Apparently that upsets her that she no longer sleeps with her father. But we're going to use her to get a uh, marriage somewhere. We'll, we'll find her somebody nice. Let's go with... Uh, Somebody, 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 somebody. A ruler somewhere? Sure, perhaps. Maybe not, because they aren't. They aren't Norsemen. Let's go with uh, not ruler. Let's go with any, really. Let's go with uh, no dynasty claims, alliances, marriages. Where are we? Ah, here we are. Culture Norse and religion Asatru. We'll find somebody nice and young. He's quite a diplomatic man. Ah, Bertil the poet, 42, but. Still younger than her father, Gregorius Ariel. Like, yeah, let, let, let's marry her off to this guy. I'm sure that'll work out well. But anyway, we need to get our army together because we are invading this land over here. We want their stuff. So let's go and take it. We're going to move this here to there and raise up our army. It's going to take a long time because we are over a very large distance, our grand empire. But that's all the poets. Well done, man. Enjoy my daughter who was my concubine. We still have. A son who wants to split up a realm, but he wants to inherit all my lands in India. I, I don't understand it. He shouldn't, but he does. There's nothing I can do about it. But too bad. Let's get all this army together, and then we can go and deal with their forces here. Do a new lifestyle perk. Good for us. Camp disputes. Let's uh, get a resolution out of it. Perfect. Excellent. We do finally have this army together. Let's split into a few stacks. Okay, so we've got four stacks. There's three places here to see straight away. Dharma, we'll send you over there. We'll send you over there. We'll send you guys down to that one. And then we got... You lot. You're going to have a bit of a fight. Yes, you are down here. You're going to go and slaughter these fools for us. Prince Dior can marry. My son of vassal. He's actually my preferred heir out of all of them. He's 17. You... Oh, King of Sardinia. Fafara. Yeah, sure. Oh, she's barren. Well then, let's uh, let's go back. Let's try and find him a wife. There is somebody who, yeah, I'm looking for fertile. So I don't know why she showed up. I although I do still want him to be Norse and us are true. Yeah, I don't know why you're showing up in fertile wives. Stuttering anyone with a good trace path. Ah, Hale. Malmu's daughter. Malfrio. Whomever they are. That's a good match. We'll go ahead and take it. Excellent. She's a bit of a square head and ugly, but oh well. She's a goodie. I'm sure the goodies uh, will appreciate. Good. Their army was uh, stack wiped. They lost one of their champions as well. This man, he is dead. This guy, however, survived. He managed to kill two of ours on the way out. Not too great. But a lot of worse things have happened in losing two men. What we might do is march straight over to the capital well, for a hundred men. I don't think it's that big of a deal to uh, start the siege there. So our truce with uh, let's let's get back our truce with oh do we not have a truce with this guy anymore? Ah, he finally died. So we could go to war with him once we are exalted among men, which should hopefully happen with this war. My daughter and ward Alexandra seems to have been having a difficult time at our latest feast. She's Greek. I'm impatient. We'll make her impatient. I, I don't want her to gain stress for the sake of this here daughter. I have another Greek son. Just leave him out somewhere. Unless that's not my son. Probably is. It's probably my boss that uh, was never noticed. Strategical impasse. I'm sitting around the map table with Jarl Schulmund and Jarl Uda discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Uh, let's try and employ both strategies. And while we're here, let's become gallant. Already have it. Overseer. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll get you guys up here to uh, be on standby if anything were to happen. Also, you could fight this stack of men and hopefully get us a prisoner or two. All right, these chaps as well. They look imprisonable. Let's go and get some. Perfect. We do have all of these sieges now. And this guy's... Oh, he's raiding. Okay. Well, winning here should do the trick. My glory is widely known. Perfect. We're now exalting among men. So when we come back, we will go for it. You're not part of me, are you? No, you're just a uh, similar colour. Once we win this here, we will uh, have it. So we already got 
We got 90%, but... Uh, cousin killed in a siege where? One of my Jewish Russian cousins was killed in a siege, but that's not too important. He's worried it might have been somebody relevant. Uh, who have we got? Where are the siege equipments? No, you guys have them. Well, go over here. Just uh, speed that up for us, would you? Ten months? Four months. That's more like it. Might be able to storm it if we uh, get everyone over here and get a break. Not good. We can assault the fort. Well, let's do it. Perfect. We took her prisoner and we will get 100% overweight. Unfortunately, though, I can't ransom her. Yeah, I don't have the money. That's a shame. However, what if I were to negotiate release for... Oh, I can't do that. That's a shame. We'll just have to enforce demands here. I should have maybe checked and see if she did have money first, but too bad. We did lose a fair few people there as well. Let's have a look at my uh, other characters, though. Do we have anyone around? Oh, you have multiple sons. Your primary heir is this guy, my nephew. Why Why is it not this guy? Because he's a bastard of the Rogan family. Three living members. Okay, or saw. How about we make you a great house over here? You can take... Uh, one of these provinces. Who else you got in your family? You got another brother. We could make the Rogans the uh, lords over this region. Rogan. And we can pick some other random dude to uh, go in there. Well, you do have a husband and another son. Whose son is this hastening? Is he the heir? No, he's not. The other child is the heir. So, oh, it's just the third bastard, but he doesn't have the uh, Rogan name. Well, I'm going to grant all of these guys the land over here. I think the heir's all going to be the other chap. No, no, not for you. Hopefully they can create dynasties there and convert the local realm. But next up, it is going to be this guy. But let's get us some strength back. These guys are going to take a little while. I uh, unfortunately did kill off a fair few there. But you see, it goes up quite fast. The end of a life, my trusted mare charger is getting old. Her stride is not as swift as it once was, and the fire in her eyes is fading. If I want to keep her lineage alive, I must find a good match for her. Search for an agile stallion, a strong stallion. Most important aspect is endurance. Scourlangs are fierce. No, find a strong, no, agile. Let's go with an agile horse. Ransom? Sure, ten gold is ten gold. Don't mind if I do. No others here, though. Could always let some of these guys out. Like, who are you? Guy with claims, no one important. Unless you're an heir to somewhere. No. But this guy does have a title, it's not too important. This man, Mr. Swastika over here. Uh, we could negotiate your release for a conversion. Get out of here. Good, he's now Asachu. Uh, Sophia, one of my daughters, has come of age. She is unmarried. We could find her a decent match somewhere. What about a prestige gain? Who we got? Anybody of age? 17. He's a count of somewhere. Sure. Uh, what else we got here though? Uh, Jogama. 14. 16 year old lass. 39. Alright. So well, nobody's going to pay for you. So let's just demand a conversion or hook. I don't want to recruit you though. Just, just to get you out of here. Songsten. You've been in jail for four years and nobody's come for you, so let's just uh, demand your conversion. And we cook. Get out of here. Didn't change your outfit though, did you? Goody, you are married to that albino man? Sure, let's... Ransom for 100 gold? I didn't see that option before. My horse, however, has died. I hope he didn't just uh, do anything there. And marrying a stallion that now follows my every command, I must upon... I'm used upon a name for him. A name inspired by history, mythology. Yeah. Sleepnir. I think that was the name of a horse in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Okay, let's go with Sleepnir. I think that is the horse I had in Kingdom Come Deliverance as well. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I'm very happy with that. Excellent. Levies have built up a fair bit. We could get to war. I've got a lot of money, though. I might switch out some of these light infantry for better troops. We've got pikemen. We've got horses. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of you guys. Let's create a new Man of Arms regiment. We could go with bowmen, light horsemen, pikemen, armoured footmen. Could go for a lot of heavier guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get 500 armoured footmen ready for the field of battle. 
Trusting me, trusting you, sweet Caroline. What have we got? Princess Alexandra of the Empire of the Norse. I would never deceive you, my dear daughter. Never. I would never, ever do such a thing. I do need a spike master, though, so let's go ahead and assign uh, Jarl Tuymund. Good man. Have we got all our 500 guys yet? No, just 105. Come on, let's go. Oh, is it only 50 a month? Okay, we don't need all those guys to go to war with this man. He's already losing wars. Let's declare war to invade his kingdom. I want all of it. We can only use this de jure, this uh, CB once per lifetime. So if we can get good use out of it. He is in Kalyani. He's actually in his capital. So we want to go over there, destroy whoever's trying to siege it, and then take it. There is a big stack of guys going over there to f take it, though. So we're going to be in for a bit of a fight. Fillable perks. Oh, I suppose we're going straight down here, then. Cast a spell I cost. Oh, we could have saved a bit of prestige. 20 odd days. Right, a few guys are going to die on the way up. Only 100. Okay, maybe only 100 will die on the way up. But we want to ensure that we catch him, not some other fucker. After my long tutelage of young Alexandra, I was pleased to no end when she told me she considers herself Norse. Good! My daughter Alexandra has changed her clothing. Also, this is 47 days away. I want to catch this guy. So let's have a fight over him, shall we? 11, nearly 12,000. They are running away. But we catch it. Good, and their siege is not continuing. We didn't get to fight them all, but we have arrived here. 31 days left. Hopefully we capture this guy and take his entire kingdom. He didn't appear to escape. Perfect! Easiest kingdom I have ever taken, but we can't leave it that easily. Let's go over here and fight these guys. We gotta at least have some sort of battle around here. All right, these lot as well. Let's let's go screw these guys over. They're trying to invade us anyway. I'm probably going to inherit their war, so let's have a crack at them, shall we? Let's slaughter them a bit. Come on, get these guys dead. They're all naked. They haven't even got armor on. Perfect. Well, let's enforce the demands here. Beautiful. That is a lot of land. However, they come to me themselves. That's not so great. I wanted this land to be uh, under direct Norse control. Ha. We might be able to demand a conversion and breed them out, but that's not exactly what we're after here. Also, someone over here. Yeah, you. Can we demand your conversion as well? And I did inherit this war, yes. We're at war with the uh, Kokotukalapatan up north. They have 6,000 men. We sh already have taken out a fair chunk of their army. Where's my army? Oh, we're right here. Are we? Uh, yes, I'll pay if you to convert. As for you, you don't get such the honour. Such an honour, I should say. Bless be Odin. Okay, we do have an extra province there that we could give away, but uh, these guys... Yeah, I'm not such a fan of how I didn't get that land directly, but it is the CB. It is the CB. This guy didn't convert at all, and he does have heirs. So that will be able to just simply uh, kill them off. Same with you, but you are Asa true. Your heir is not. Demand conversion. Because we can go to their direct vassals as well. So we demand all of their conversions on top. Anybody else around here? You got anyone? No. Yeah, there is this one down below him. Come on, let's get these conversions going. Anything for the faith. Anything for the faith. Anything for the faith. That's a lot of debts. But we can always fix that with a quick holiday to the uh, Papal States. Designate educated for one of my children. She is... Yeah, I'll take her on. She's one of my daughters. Exodia Gazis can marry... Who are you? My granddaughter. I have a granddaughter. Um, there's the King of Sardinia. He needs a wife. That's a good match, if ever there was one. Excellent. Yeah. How are we doing with the religion here? A few places have switched over. Empire of the Norse. That's looking real good now. Real good. And so is the siege. We'll be able to go and fight their army again. But they do still have the war score from here. They're invading uh, Sagar. Oh, the one they occupy. 
Okay, so we're going to want to try and take that back after we defeat their army here. One of my poor guys is injured. Ah, oh, the culture of somewhere has changed to Norse. Down this way I was converting. Let's go and get him back to work. Convert, please, convert. Empire of the Norse has great strength. Now that was definitely a grand battle. Very grand battle. Whoa, Duke Vak Party doing very well on the front lines there. Killed off most of their champions, in fact. That was a slaughter. And the other one, well, we imprisoned. There's going to be a lot of uh, ransoms here. Try and get me out of this debt. Although it doesn't appear to have moved, me, uh, moved the needle too much. Now 10 gold there. 10 gold there. When it clicked on you, this guy. 10 gold. Only little ones. But little ransoms are better than no ransoms. Perfect. Could probably get a white piece, but I'm up for destroying these guys a bit more before we uh, go and invade them properly. Dedicated to my faith. Yes, I am. I am indeed. My health is... Uh, pretty poor. I am ailing. So we should try and end off this war if I am going to invade them with uh, some of my own gases. But if I enforce demands, they pay me a lot of money. So we're going to stay here because if I inherit this as my heir... Where is he? Kalyani? Oh, so he's actually with the army. If I were to inherit this war and take all of that money, I'd be in a very grand spot. Whereas if I just simply uh, win this... Oh, so my son is actually my grandson too. I had a child with my daughter. I had three children with my daughter. Oh my goodness, I overlooked that completely. I had three children with my daughter. Prince Pulofa is my son and grandson. Oh my goodness gracious me. As for this man, you fool. You are a fool. Uh, I had no idea that I... Uh, I, I looked at the characters, I, I knew that uh, my daughter was a concubine, but I didn't know that I was... Uh, well, some Yosef Fritzl shit going on here. God damn it. That son, however, is of age, so good for him. We'll let him fight in the front lines, I'm sure he'll do a grand job. Ah, Alexandra's come of age. You want to marry a brother, perhaps? Uh, who are you? Grandson of Myrgorum? He looks a decent enough man, but let's actually... I, l I like this character. Let's try and keep her around. Get a decent knight out of her. 28, you're relatively young. How good are you? You're very good. Alright. Let's keep my daughter nice and close. Then that man can jump on the front lines when uh, when the need arises. Beautiful. Let's go and destroy their army again. We're actually very low on supplies as well. So we'll probably have to split up and do after this. Yes, it still has not won us the war. That's just too bad. But we'll be able to get supplies from here and then we can go up and besiege this area. Ah, let's, let's not turn down a fight. Get over there and kill these guys. 94%. Let's see what we can do about these ransoms as well. 10 gold. New lifestyle perk. Siege weapon effectiveness. Yeah, I like that idea. Can I actually enforce demands on these guys now? Yeah. Perfect. That gets us out of that debt. So let's pause the game. And let's see what I can do. So, do I have a truce with you? Yes, I still do. That makes perfect sense. I wouldn't mind going into this land here. No, we, were, we have already destroyed his army. Pretty, uh, pretty well. He has an ally with no forces, so... This guy is definitely the one to go after. We can go for a duchy. Ooh... That's probably the better idea, yeah. Three provinces versus two provinces. I think this is definitely the better shout. Invade him for this land, and then we have a very, very big Norse India. These guys, though, is it a shame that they don't all convert? They have their foreign cultures as well. Not a fan, not a fan. Did your vassal change? Yes, they did. Did their children? Yes, they did. Perfect. But this Duke Bima, he's uh, holding out on us. Who are you? Canada Asatru, very good. Your siblings, however, are not. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to re-raise our troops all the way over here. And then just go in carpet sieges land, really. In fact, we could go along this. No, I'm going to attack from the south. This will be in the next episode, however. So I hope you are enjoying the campaign. I very much am indeed. Empire of the Norse is swallowing India whole. Probably got more strength over here than we have in uh, Egypt now. Not sure, though. But yeah, we'll keep on taking till we have probably the entire empire of the uh, Deccans. And then some, already up here as well. We'll just uh, keep going, really, and have a bit of fun with it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you are subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.